In five, stand by announcer. Four, stand by camera one. Three, stand by audio. Stand by to roll video. Roll and take video. Great achievements have come from places most folks would never believe possible. In Omaha, Nebraska, the Lincoln Motion Picture Company for African Americans in the United States was the beginning of a positive image. Welcome to Southern Boys. May I take your order? Uh, what do you guys have for breakfast? Well, we have a breakfast special that I can recommend you. I'll take that. All right. Sounds good. How about you, sir? You know, I, I, I think I'll go ahead with this catfish. The catfish dinner? Yes, please. Oh, that's real good. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I'm starving. Another shooting off 30th and Ames last night. Why does the news ever say anything good about North Omaha? I don't know. I heard about the shooting on 30th and Ames, too. Last night, though, there was three people that got shot, man. One was a toddler. This is getting out of hand. But every time they talk about us, they trash this place. It's not right. Good things happen here. There's a lot of good that goes on in North Omaha, you know, but the media needs something to survive on. Well, you know, little Ray Ray, he's a um, lawyer, and Uncle Bobby's the police chief. That's also like Mr. Johnson. You know, he got like four McDonald's, and he's about to open up two more. And Laura, she just got that full ride scholarship to Princeton University. It's, so that's real good news. Hey, we should start our own production company. Okay, with what? I'm taking these courses at school and they're teaching us about filming and editing. We can start our own news channel. Okay, with what crew? Well, we got Marky Mark and Johnny. Johnny Big, he carry the heavy loads. Okay, well, that's a real good idea. That's a real good idea. North Omaha, 1915. The place, George Johnson's home. He and his brother Noble have just finished eating. George has just finished reading the Omaha Monitor which was the best known and widely read African-American newspaper in the city. The big story of the day was about the new movie called Birth of a Nation, which promoted white supremacy and positively portrayed the Ku Klux Klan. What's your shift at the post office today? Ah, uh, question, uh, 12 to 5. 12 to 5. How's that job working out for you? You know, Noble, I'm not even gonna lie. It's really difficult being the only colored person out there, but you know what, I make it work out each and every day. And you know, speaking of that subject, uh, how's your auditions going? There's not much opportunity locally, and when there is, I always get passed up. You know what, no, but don't beat yourself up. Just because you're colored doesn't mean you aren't a great actor. If you just stay patient, your time will come. Thanks, George, I really appreciate that. How about we go see what's showing at the Franklin today? You know, speaking of movies, did you read The Monitor today? What section? Uh, one second, uh, the uh, entertainment. Are you talking about that article, Birth of a Nation? Yeah. I am so disappointed in how popular this movie's become. It's racist and degrading to colored people. You know, I've been thinking, we just started our own film production company. You know, show the United States a, a different side, no matter of fact, the, the positive side of colored people. What do you think? That's not a bad idea. I even know where we can start. Show me. In 1915, Noble Johnson and George Johnson founded the Lincoln Motion Picture Company in Omaha, Nebraska. It was the first African-American film company in the United States. Their purpose was to produce race movies. These films portrayed colored people in a positive light while encouraging black pride. In order for the films to be seen by a much bigger audience other than Omaha, George Johnson opened a general booking office for the Lincoln Films. He first operated the booking office from his residence at 2816 Pratt Street in Omaha. They established a series of branch offices in major cities, which became the first national black-operated film booking company. The Johnson brothers once sought to purchase the film rights for the popular novel The Homesteader, which was written by Oscar Micheaux, who is considered the dean of black films. At that time, a show was not open to selling the rights. The Johnson brothers went on to create their own films. They relocated to Los Angeles, California. Once there, the Lincoln Motion Picture Company became incorporated. The company quickly built a reputation for making films showcasing 
African-American talent. In 1923, the Lincoln Motion Picture Company closed. George P. Johnson completed 37 years as a postal employee. Noble M. Johnson appeared in over 140 films, including the role as the chief in the original King Kong. Today, little is known of the impact the Lincoln Motion Picture Company had on the film industry, as well as African Americans then and now. Omaha, Nebraska, 2010, Southern Boys Restaurant. Calvin and Jesse continue discussing starting their own film production company. Jesse and Calvin. Hey, what's up? How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Oh, before I forget, there's a film festival coming up, and if you guys are interested, I can get you the information. I picked up a flyer along the way here. It's just what we needed. Oh, yeah. Thank you. The Lincoln Motion Picture Company and the names of George and Noble Johnson might not be engraved on the Hollywood Walk of Fame as the first black-owned film company in the United States. But in 1915, in Omaha, Nebraska, at 2816 Pratt Street, for African Americans, past, present, and future, it was the beginning of a positive 